Hello and welcome to this short little video on the refutation concept, which is also basically don't ignore the other side. In argumentative papers, you should include a refutation section in your paper and it should be done early on. Well, what is it? Why is it important that you do it? So let's look at an example. Let's say that I want to go to dinner with my wife and there is a particular Mexican restaurant that I love. Okay, let's say I love this restaurant and I want to go there. And because they've got a special deal on uh, it's Taco Tuesday, why not? Okay, so Taco Tuesday, I want to go and I need to try to convince my wife to go with me. But I know she doesn't want to go because the last time we went, we got free chips and salsa, but the salsa, she complained, was way too hot. She said, no, I am not going to go to that Mexican restaurant because the salsa is way too hot. So before you even say anything else, I'm going to nix the deal saying, no way, no way am I going to go because I don't like the hot, hot salsa. Now, I need to know, I know, I know this about my wife. So if I say, hey, do you want to go to this Mexican restaurant? Her answer is going to be no, because the salsa is too hot. So instead, I would say, well, look, I'd like to go to this restaurant for dinner now. And this is the, where the refutation comes in. I understand the last time that we went, we had the salsa and it was too hot and you didn't like it. So right, I recognize right now her what her objection is going to be right up front before I even start to explain about Taco Tuesday or any other thing, okay? So right up front I say, listen, proposing that we go to this Mexican restaurant, I understand the, the salsa is too hot for you the last time we went. I recognize that's something. However, it just so happens that they now offer different types of salsa. So you can actually get whatever kind of salsa you want. You don't have to get the super hot one if you don't want to. And then I could get into my argument. It's Taco Tuesday. We're going to have half off food. And um, your best friend is going to be there with you, which you haven't seen for 10 years. Now, before I can even get to any of these points about the good reasons why we should go, which would be the argumentative points of your paper, you need to, again, address what their main hang-up is going to be or hang-ups are going to be. Because, again, when you're trying to persuade somebody, you need to... Acknowledge it up front. So the point of this is when trying to argue a point or trying to convince someone, address their main concern up front. When you do this, they will be more likely to listen to your reasons. So if you just start with your reasons, in the back of their mind, they're going to be thinking, nope, I've got this problem, I've got this problem, I've got this problem. And they're not really going to listen to what you're saying. But if you address what they're going to have up front, and recognize that it's a thing that they've got a concern about and say, well, I'm going to actually address that, then they're going to be more likely to listen to what you have to say. That is the whole point of a refutation. So in your paper, you should have at least a paragraph that recognizes the other side's point of view or argument, acknowledge that it's a thing. Now, you know, let's say you're pro-abortion, let's say you're pro-abortion, your refutation could be like, there are those who are against abortion because they believe, and then you would state whatever they believe. But then you would say, however, as this, you know, this paper will demonstrate that these concerns, when looked at from a broader perspective, are not as important, or whatever it is. Again, I'm not trying to persuade you one way or the other when it comes to abortion. I'm just trying to give an example. So you do need a refutation. It should be the second paragraph. First paragraph should be the introduction. Second paragraph should be the refutation where you address the other side, acknowledge the thing, and acknowledge that you're going to deal with it. All right, there you go. Refutation.